Hey, good morning everybody, it's Brian. Hope you're doing well today. It's uh, Thursday the 10th of September. Need a shave, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm, I'm starting a little bit early, mainly because there's not a whole lot for us to do this morning uh, from the Forex side of things, which is what's gonna get started uh, here in the next 15 minutes. So uh, normally I, I kick it off at eight Eastern, seven Central. We talk about a Forex opening market breakout and uh, talk about some things you might be watching on the Forex side of things. And then we kick over to the futures and then uh, Teddy, I'll hit, I'll hit uh, crypto as well. But I, I just looking at the market, kind of doing a little bit of, of analysis before we started this, you know, the, the live stream. And there's just, there's a lot going on this morning. So from a Forex side of things, there's really not much for us to do. Uh, big thing always, always, always before you start trading, check the news. Know what's coming up. You, know, you should check at the beginning of the week and kind of have an idea of what's going to be happening and then check the day of just to just to ensure that nothing has changed. Uh, today, we've got a few things happening. Uh, just now, we had the uh, uh, refi rate and initial uh, policy statement, monetary policy statement. And then at 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern, we have the ECB press conference. And uh, that's going to throw a wrench in anything that we're doing from a, a Forex side of things because obviously, you know, that's going to impact which currencies are, are moving. It's going to impact spreads as sound bites come out from that. We could see um, increased movement. You know, the pound actually prior to about 20 minutes ago was one of the strongest currencies it was a had a very strong uptrend and just kind of fell off the fell off a cliff here coming into this this new this new session and really coming into the news so you know there's there, there's not there's nothing to do today for forex uh, at least not at the start you know after the press conference ends after everything else is done you want to jump into the market sure look and see which currencies are moving use your currency strength meter see which currencies are moving which ones you want to pair together Look at their ranges to see, you know, if they've exceeded their typical range, you know, maybe you're watching for reversals at that point, you know, see which direction you need to be trading. And then also double check your, your volume detail just to ensure that, you know, whatever direction you're going in, uh, you've got that supported by uh, the, the, the directional trend and, and the way the order flow, the volume, the trade volume is moving in as well. Yeah, so just, just double check those things. Um, if you are curious about where to watch the news, you know, obviously you can see as things come out here, you know, you'll know when you can just refresh your Forex Factory page or Bloomberg or whatever, and you'll see when when reports come out that have you know data figures attached to them, you'll find them here. But something like a press conference. You know, there's going to be the press conference, which is the initial statement, and then Q and A following that. If you want to watch that, you can watch it um, a couple of places. Actually, you know, if you if you click over here on the folder next to the press conference piece, um, they usually have a link to where you can find it. Uh, my friend Amar has a site called Financial Juice, and uh, I love this site because it's kind of everything in one spot. It's a, a news aggregator. It pulls sources from all over the place and puts them together. Anyway, um, the ECB press conference will be broadcast live here as well. So you can find that in financialjuice.com on the main page. Uh, when that starts here in about 40 minutes, you can just click play and you can watch it. Uh, more than likely, he'll move this back to the top when it gets closer to the time to actually uh, watch that event. But anyway, that, this is a place you can go to watch it. All right, so with that said, what else is happening today? Well, you know, as the regular trading hours begin for the U.S. session, there's not a whole lot going on. We do have some reports that are coming out. Uh, the bigger things would be later in the day as we have Bank of Canada, uh, Governor uh, Macklin is speaking, and then uh, ECB Lagarde is speaking. Uh, this isn't a big deal. This is just closing remarks. This one is just closing remarks. But Macklin is speaking on uh, coronavirus impact. So, Q and A from that could be impactful. I, I think I don't know how how heavily watched that'll be, but statements from that could be potentially impactful if it deals with uh, projections on trade or, or things of that nature. So, um, or, or just overall, 
you know, directionality for, you know, what we think is happening, um, you know, in the world, how well that's supported by other things that are occurring in the marketplace and how, it, how really it's how it's interpreted by, uh, by the market makers that happen to be uh, tuning in to, to see where other governments or, and other, you know, uh, leaders are, 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 le are um, leaning, right? So anyway, there's, uh, there's a lot going on there. But really, ultimately, from the, from the future side of things, once we get into regular trading hours, should be pretty much business as usual. Uh, what is business as usual? Pfft, who knows? Let's check it out. Let's see what business as usual looks like. Well, today, you know, coming into um, you know, coming into the day, looking at the S and P, four hour bias is down. Four hour bias is telling us that we'd be looking to go short. So we've got a short bias on the four hour. Flip over to the thirty minute and it's technically down, it's technically short uh, because the green line is below the red line. That could be anybody's game when the actual market gets started and we see where things go. And even over the next you know, hour uh, and a half leading up to the start of the, of the uh, regular trading hours, you know, if this continues to push down, that'll, that will um, give us a very confirmed directional bias. If it pushes up and the green line crosses back above the red line, then we'd have a conflicting bias. And we don't trade when it's a conflicting bias. We only want to trade in the direction of a bias that's confirmed on, on, on both of these, right? So um, right now, we do have a confirmed bias. Both are, both are showing us that the bias is short. That's the case. You know, if it continues to be short coming into the new session, then, uh, or, or you know, coming into the regular trading hours, then of course we'll continue to look for short trading opportunities. What do those look like? Well, you know, 3360 uh, is, is certainly setting up as a, a, a fairly key area here on the 30 minute, uh, not so much on the four hour, but here on the 30 minute, I know it's, it's still here on the 3360, yeah, it's still here on the four hour as well. So 3360 break below. You know, it would certainly be a spot to sell from. You know, is it just a breakout sell? Of course, the other way to, to, to look at that if we get far enough down, you know, is, is if we start pulling back and and the you know bias doesn't change. If we start pulling back, making higher lows and higher highs, then we could be trailing our, our entry point at the bottom of that previously closed higher low. Now that would only be though, we still have to keep in mind what this moving average is doing for us. If the moving average crosses back over and we have a, a long a, a, a long bias at that point, that pullback might create a long bias. If it does, then we don't trade, right? Keep in mind, we, we want confirmation of directional bias. If you're gonna get days where you don't trade, you might have many, many days in a row where you don't trade, and that's okay. Just we want to ensure that you've got a confirmed directional bias because we want to trade in the direction of the trend. And that's over the long term. Trend is your friend, as they say, right? Uh, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Um, for reversals, you know, we keep pushing higher, break above 3,400. Um, you know, if you're looking for something counter to that four hour trend, if you break above 3,400, that could certainly be the spot to continue to, to look at buying opportunities, which would be 